Dr. Mugabe welcomes you again to Statistical Independence. We're dealing with chapter where we, we cover multi-random variables. And the issue of statistical independence shows now. It did not show when we study a single random variable because we just have one. There is no point of speaking about independence or dependence. And the title says statistical independence. Statistical independence because there are other forms of independence. We're just looking at statistical relations. So X and Y are independent if the following is true. If the probability, remember in probability we mentioned that if the joint probability equal to the multiplication of the individual probabilities for any value of x and y, we call them independent events. Now I'm using, um, we, we mentioned before that the best way to relate probability to, to, to random variables is through the CDF. And this is why I'm saying x less than or equal to x, y, y less than or equal to y, because of course capital is the random variable, y is a specific value, the small y is a specific value because I can always relate this to the CDF. So we can say that two variables are statistically independent if the CDF, if the joint CDF equal to the multiplication of the, of the marginal CDFs. Or similarly, I can also say here that two random variables are statistically independent if the joint PDF equal to the multiplication of the marginal PDF. So in that case, we say that X and Y are independent. Of course, you can show this in a different way. If you if you, if you you do any conditioning, for example, if you condition over the CDF, okay, we can write the CDF in terms of probability. And then, of course, uh, this is nothing but the, the definition of the joint CDF. If they are independent, you get the CDF equal to the multiplication of the marginal, Y will cancel, and then, of course, you get just f of x because you are conditioning on something that's independent. So this condition will not change the effect. We can do the same with respect to the PDF. So the PDF, the conditional PDF, equal to the product of, uh, equal to the joint divided by the PDF of, of the condition. And if they are independent, I can split the PDF into multiplication. And finally, we get, of course, f of y. So the conclusion of the slide, the simple fact we want to share is that just like in probability, if the joint PDF or joint CDF equal to the multiplication of the marginal ones, we call the two random variables to be statistically independent. Statistically independent. Okay, so any of these is sufficient to claim independence. You don't need to search for other facts. If this is true, we can uh, conclude that this is a sufficient condition and it's directly independent. Okay, let's take some examples about statistical independence. Are X and Y independent? If the joint PDF equal to the following, okay, remember this example we had before? Again, we're calling the example because we already found the marginal. So let's state the marginal again. Let's state the marginal uh, PDFs for the two cases here. So this, this was the marginal of X and this was the marginal of Y. Now, can we multiply them together and get, you have to be careful a little bit, and we get the original joint PDF. If not, then they are dependent. And of course, because it's not the case, we, we conclude that X and Y are not independent. If you want, you can cancel with not with N, the two negative parts, it becomes they are dependent, not to get confused. So we can say that X and Y are dependent. The second example says, are X and Y independent? Where we have this example, where we have the joint PDF for x and y. We can find the marginal easy now because this, the, the variable are separable and we can find the we can find the, the marginal PDFs for the two example and of course this is the marginal with respect to, to, to x by integrating over all possible values of y. We are, we're starting from zero because we have u of y. Just by inspection, by similarity, by, dual, by, by symmetry, we can find directly the, the PDF of y. It's going to be uh, very similar. It just changed the constants. And now we can see that we can get the joint by the multiplication. So I had an example of dependent, and now we have an example of two independent random variables. Their marginal PDFs equal to the multiplication of their joint PDF. Now, uh, again, for the statistical independence, um, if you want to generalize x, y, and z are independent, if 
their joint PDF equal to the mul multiplication of the marginal. But also, uh, any function of x, g of x, let's say, this multiplication by 2, divide, uh, whatever, uh, and any function of any other random variable should also be independent because the, if the original values, if the original random variables are independent, so any function of them should also be independent. It should be automatic. To generalize, okay, to generalize for n random variables, to generalize, any group of random variables should be independent of any other group of random variables. So xn should be independent of x1, 2, 3, and x1 plus x2 plus x3, whether they have plus or minus or whatever function you, you have. If all of them are independent, they should be completely independent whether in a function or not. Okay, so uh, here's an example that shows you maybe a, a scatter plot that just give you an idea about dependence or independence, or just, just a rough idea. So you can see here that uh, we have we have some uh, uh, plot of weight and then we have height. So, um, and here we have weight and height. I, I'm just getting you uh, um, which just give you examples where here values are selected maybe in uh, independent way. They are independent. So weight and height, knowing the weight does not tell me what the height is. It could be up, down, whatever. And then we have here kind of correlation between weight and height. So there is some sort of relation between them. They are related. They are dependent, if you like, or they are correlated. So we'll come to the meaning of correlation later on. Just to give you an idea about how things are related or not. So here we have relation, but it's going to be negative. Remember that we are doing statistical. So not every single point will respect the relation. Of course, the one that makes more physical sense is that we have uh, this kind of relation where we have weight and height are related, are dependent somehow. And of course, knowing one will tell us something about the other, uh, again, in a statistical way. Okay, so we can now proceed with uh, with other examples. We can um, share. I, will, I can share the code with you where you can you can plot or generate these data and change the relation between x and y and make them dependent or independent.